11th October, this is two minutes in the Olive Garden. I'm Kofi Kofi Chisa, the word for today. Proverbs chapter 5, verse 19. She is a loving deer, a graceful doe. Let her breasts satisfy you always. May you always be captivated by her love. I will stick to the literal meaning of this text and not go deep into the diverse hermeneutics. Though the breasts are good for babies, breastfeeding is not the main purpose of the breasts. The breast is only rented out to the baby for a short while. Let's say you had your first baby at 25 and you actively function sexually till you are 70. That is 45 years of lovemaking. Say you had even 10 children and breastfed each of them for 6 months. That is 60 months of breastfeeding which equals 5 years of breastfeeding 10 children. So 5 years out of the 45 years your breasts were for the babies. Even during that breastfeeding period your husband wasn't barred from having access. The rest of the 40 years your breasts were for your husband alone. The statement, let the breasts, means the man must make conscious efforts to keep the breasts attractive. Adam could not operate in a higher prophetic dimension until he saw the breasts of a woman. Babies may need breasts for only six months, but men need breasts all their adult lives. It is good to look at the beautiful side of your wife and let her good sides captivate you rather than dwelling on her weaknesses. At work, in school, in church, learn to focus on the strengths of people and not their weaknesses. The shalom of Yahweh be upon you.